arguably the most destructive weapon of all time, is up for auction. No, not a nuclear bomb or an assault rifle. It's Adolf Hitler's personal telephone. Hitler's telephone, described as his mobile device of destruction, used to send millions to their death around the world, is set to be sold at auction here in the United States. According to the item's catalog description for Alexander Historical Auctions in Maryland, the phone was gifted to Hitler by Russian officers. It is believed to have been used by the Nazi leader to issue most of his commands during the last two years of World War II. A product of Siemens, the black Bakelite phone was painted a deep red and engraved with Hitler's name in a swastika. The listing recounts how days after the end of the war, British officer Ralph Rayner recovered the phone from Hitler's bunker. Very likely, the first non-Soviet victor to enter the city, Rayner went to the chancellery where Russian officers offered him a tour. On entering Hitler's private quarters, Rayner was first offered Eva Braun's telephone, but politely declined, claiming his favorite color was red. His Russian hosts were pleased to hand him a red telephone, Hitler's telephone. His son, Ranulf Rayner, inherited the phone after his father's death in 1977. The listing notes the phone's uniquely horrific history. It would be impossible to find a more impactful relic than the primary tool used by the most evil man in history. This is the amazing trophy of the red telephone, which my father took from the bunker, and which probably, in fact, without doubt, was used by Hitler. Rockus Misch, Hitler's personal telephonist, who died in Berlin only a few years ago, confirmed that this was Hitler's personal telephone for the last two years of his life. The Siemens telephone was presented to Hitler by the Wehrmacht, by two of their most senior officers, of which we have a photograph. The telephone was built by Siemens, and they confirmed that it was built for the German Wehrmacht, who themselves coloured it red and then had it inscribed with the German swastika and eagle and the name Adolf Hitler, probably the only instrument or artefact with his full name on it, as an instrument. It was then used, no doubt, as a cell phone and went wherever Hitler uh, was travelling. The, the telephone is specially built so that the handset will not come off the cradle without being tilted. In other words, it wouldn't shake off in the command vehicle. Also, it is most interesting that the cable here had looped ends to it and that meant that it could be plugged in wherever Hitler The auction house estimates Hitler's phone of death and destruction will be sold for 200 to 300,000.